All righty, I feel like I'm working overtime right now. Um, I had just come across some really juicy information, and it's really just, it's really helping piece together a potential, like, piece to the puzzle on what's going on right now, with markings over in that area, with markings over in that area, with markings over everywhere, um, and this new bit of information... Um, there could potentially be a story to tell here. And again, I want to start off that in this video, this is going to be a significant reach, okay? We don't know anything for sure, especially when it comes to just the Sky Roller um, Skyhawk at Canada's Wonderland. This new bit of information is a little bit harder to digest and figure out what's going on with this project. Um, but I'm going to piece together what could potentially go on. And I'm really curious to hear from you guys down in the comment section what you think about what's going on and the information that I've been presenting over the last couple days. Okay, so I'm going to start off and read this permit. This is public information, by the way. This isn't stolen from anywhere or gotten from anyone at Wonderland. This is public information. Um, so, Wonderland has filed a permit to build a recreational facility, commercial, at Canada's Wonderland, um, and it is to construct a new operator booth and electrical room for Sky Roller. Um, Sky Roller is essentially the model that Skyhawk is. So my assumption is, well, this could be one of two things. This could either be a new flat ride coming to Canada's Wonderland. Um, and they're just using codename Skyroller to confuse enthusiasts um, with their permits. There is a potential for that because theme park companies do not like having information um, fully leaked on blueprint or uh, in permits and that. And sometimes they'll disguise things. So it could be that there could be a new flat ride and they're just using codename Skyroller. And this is just them applying for the permits to build an op booth and all that. And it does say type of work new. So that is interesting. The other situation is it could be a relocation of Skyhawk. So based off of what we figured out that a Harmony Hall, probably Canadian themed, is coming to Firework Hill in the blue square, I'm assuming that Frontier Canada is going to start to expand outward a bit because um, I'm assuming that the Harmony Hall will probably be a very heavy Canadian themed building. And um, they might move Skyhawk over to Orbiter's old plot of land, the red dot on the bottom right. So, um, definitely interesting. It, the, again, this is a huge reach, um, but the permit doesn't lie, and the permit is real, and the permit is weird, nonetheless. Uh, I can't see why they would just build a new op booth and electrical room for Skyhawk, and less making room for something. So, again, there could be a couple of scenarios in play, but I just wanted to present a story here in case... Um, it does end up being that. So the green circle enclosing International Show Place and um, Skyhawk could be future develop land for maybe a family coaster. That's my guess. The orange encircled area over by Whitewater would be phase two of Frontier Canada with buildings and maybe a flat ride um, and some theming, maybe even a storytelling adventure like you see at Knott's Berry Farm and Cedar Point fitted into that area. And maybe even on the infield of Whitewater Canyon having that almost like Ghost Town Alive or the Cedar Point uh, adventure with storytelling and actors and all that. That's something I could see coming to Canada's Wonderland as we see it at the two other bigger parks. And then this uh, yellow circle would be our dark ride, our future dark ride. So now that you see it on the map and this permit and just everything, I want to know what you guys think in the comments section. Do you think I'm onto something? Do you think I am totally reaching right now? Don't worry. Feel free to be honest. Um... A couple of things I do know f for almost certainty based off of the markings and all that. I do know the blue square is most certainly going to be most likely a Harmony Hall. Um, we do know something's going to happen with Skyhawk's electrical booth and op booth. So whether that means a relocation or they need to relocate those two things because of something to do with Harmony Hall maybe... Or are they moving Skyhawk out of the New Frontier Canada, putting it in Old Orbiter's location in Action Zone, and um, having that green circle for future developed land? Maybe a roller coaster or a Gertzlauer would fit nice in that plot of land. And the orange is simply just going to be theming as a Phase 2 for Frontier Canada. And we do know a lot of people attending an ACE event or at UConn Striker Media Day know that something's going to happen to Action Theatre very shortly. So I'm assuming 2022. 
taking a breath of air. I didn't breathe through that whole sentence, but yeah, nonetheless, it's it's really becoming interesting. The more information that becomes available, the more markings that appear, just seeing what's going on. Um, it's, it's really becoming interesting. It seems like Canada's Wonderland is about to go under a very large expansion project over the next five years. So, and it's almost like we can see it laid out before us with the markings and the survey markings and the permits and the everything. So it, it, it looks like this park could have a very bright future. And I'm liking what I'm seeing with this Frontier Canada focus in the back portion of the park. So I'm super excited. Um, I hope Skyhawk does go where Orbiter is, Orbiter is because that actually makes sense. It moves it into Action Zone um, just outside the entrance of Frontier Canada. Frontier Canada expands a little more to include Harmony Hall and then maybe future developed land with that international show place maybe leaving and then them using Kingswood for future shows, uh, just a bigger venue, and them finally using that space. Um, and yeah, just super exciting. Wanted to share this with you guys. I know I just uploaded a video about 2022 construction and all that, but we just got this information about three hours after that video dropped. So I wanted to come out and update you guys as we get the information. Anyways, thanks so much for watching our videos and supporting the channel. Um, as always, I hope you have an amazing weekend. If you're visiting Wonderland, have an amazing trip. Um, and yeah, there's going to be a video coming out around 4 p.m. today about what you can expect in stage three at Canada's Wonderland. So super excited about that. Hopefully you guys enjoy that video as well. Man, I'm like double uploading every day. It's like today I worked on Canada's Wonderland content from literally 12 p.m. until now it's like 11 p.m. So this is crazy. Thank you so much for enjoying the content because it's really motivating me to push out more and everything. Anyways, thanks so much, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye.